in the white corner, Vladimir Oparin, 37-year-old fighter from Russia, 176 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 69 kilograms. His record, 54 fights, 40 wins, 12 losses, and two draws. I have an immense amount of respect for him getting in there at 37. I'll tell you what, I treat every sock as a challenge, Aaron, and <laughs> this man's in there fighting PTT. Yeah. Nothing but respect. They can see PTT for Wu Jiruang, 23-year-old, originally from Chonburi province in Thailand, 178 centimeters tall. With 149 fights under his belt, this will be his 150th fight. 119 victories, 29 losses, and one draw. He was the 26th Azuzu Cup champion at 67 kilograms. The Azuzu Cup super fight champion as he defeated Pikes and we were here at Thai Fight. Also the Thai Fight champion of 2016, 2017, and also of 2019. Fighter that when he burst onto the scene here at Thai Fight was just an absolute demolition ball of a human being knocking out everyone in his sight. And then all of a sudden, put to a halt, he lost himself via, via a knockout. And then he lost a little bit of his confidence, but then came back. And it's been uh, normal service from then on in. I don't think he's. He's still getting clipped, though. Yeah. He is still getting clipped. I don't clipped. think he's lost his confidence as much as he's just oh, become a really? little bit... I think he's just become a little bit less reckless. It's almost like that feeling when you've never lost of just being unbeatable. I think, I think yeah, the invincibility the shield. The invincibility wore yeah. off. I, I, I still think he's a fantastic fighter and a real killer. We'll see that here tonight, most likely. This has got over and back into a corner, connecting with right hands. Up Both fight. Both fighting swinging. Neither really connecting or doing a lot of damage. Offer him moving forward. PTT trying to push him back with that jab. Good right hand there from PTT. And looking for a right elbow that might have cut off him. That looked like it hit him perfectly on the eyebrow. Again, Oprah looking for that left jab. And again, and connected straight to the nose of PTT. You can already see a hematoma on the head of Oprah where that elbow landed. Oh, again, PTT is getting caught out of those long arms. Oh, oh my goodness. Right hand, and Oprah goes down. Back to his feet. Yeah, he would have just felt that, that hematoma as he wipes away the sweat, trying to compose himself. Not get taken out in the first round. PTT on the attack, looking for an elbow. Oh, oh my goodness, times two. Medic. And that's it. He's, Medic. He is out. That's, out of, he is out cold. That's the gnarliest knockout we've seen tonight. He's got his mate in there shaking his legs out because he is in oh. trouble. Oh, goodness. Let's hope he hasn't swallowed his tongue. Oh, he's got his eyes are rolling back in his head. This is... Oh, this is serious. Never want to see this. They got the mouthpiece out. He stretches out as well now, folks. So he's, his head is oh, he's still, he still looks unconscious. He is breathing. The way he banged his head on the floor as well. Oh, no. Yeah, that's when you really need those superhero reps. 
that jump in there to prevent the head from coming down. I think we've only seen the stretcher brought out oh, maybe three times here at Thai Fight. That One for Petsamui, the center turn, and, uh, and now. And let's hope that Vladimir That's the worst okay. one we've ever seen. Yeah, I, I think that for sure is the worst one that we've seen. The winner is Congratulations to Speed TT, but remember folks, this is the art of eight limbs. This is one of the deadliest martial arts in the world. And I do think we forget that sometimes with some of the you know the lights and the, the explosions that we see. But a little reminder for everyone at home how dangerous Boy Tai can be, especially with, with rope hands. Okay. <laughs>